Can I please have Chief of Police Rich Randolph to the stage? Rich was good friends with Bear as most people knew him and will be sharing his story. I wanna thank Scotty and everyone who assisted in making this possible. This is my third one I've been to and I'm always impressed. I'm also humbled to hear all these stories that you've all shared, so bear with me. I'm not gonna be able to match some of the speeches I've heard today, but I'm gonna do my best. Hello everyone, my name is Rich Randolph. I just wanna take a few minutes to talk to you about Mark Hartness, Dr. Mark Hartness, commonly known as Bear. And when I first met him, I'm like, he had told me, and I'm sure Scotty could relate, because we're looking at each other, is, you could call me Bear. And I was like, this is kind of weird, but okay. Um, and it grew on you real quick. He had that dynamic personality. And I'm gonna outline some of the things about Bear that showed. Mark Hartness, or we would all know as Bear, passed away in March of 2018. He's missed by all of us. And he touched so many lives in our organization, Protect and Defend. For those of you who don't know, Bear was a psych psychiatric technician at Pelican Bay State Prison for many years. This is the state of California's highest supermax prison, very violent. Bear didn't talk much about his work, but one thing that he did share with all of us is he had to leave because he was attacked by inmates. And as a result of that injury and that attack, it forever put him into a cane. He always had to have a cane, then he went to a walker, and then eventually he needed a wheelchair. Bear was very, very smart, loved to talk to people, and uh, the resources that he did were protect and defend. Um, he had three master's degrees, and he was a certified thanatologist, which he had to go to the UK to get that certification. He was very proud to, to talk about that. And Bear was the type of person where if we got a phone call or an email for the member, Bear was, I'd call him up and I'm there for him, and we'd put him on the phone. My experience with Bear started with many crossing with many paths with him at Party in the Desert. He was always there for us. Party in the Desert is a party we get together every year in July in Palm Springs. Who would go to Palm Springs in July at 110 degree weather? That is crazy, right? It is absolutely crazy, but it is a tradition. I heard the word trailblazing. I love that word because Scotty and I have talked about it. It is a tradition that was trailblazed by people ahead of or prior to us 45 years ago. And we've just maintained that tradition. And with cold beverages and a crisp pool and good laughs and memories, we're able to get through the weekend. And Bear would travel, drive out, fly out, and sit in his wheelchair in the hot sun just to be there with all of us. But it wasn't just being there. He, Bear would see someone having an issue and he would go right up to them. Um, up to a person pool sign up before we all knew it, they were pouring out their stress and trauma to him. And so Bear started setting up uh, stress uh, talks with people every Saturday morning. In the last several years of Bear's life, even with the wheelchair, he needed additional assistance with us, getting him from point A to point B. This usually meant sometimes having to push his wheelchair to the restaurant across the street, and he would always say, God, it's so hot out here, but I'm just glad to be out here with all of you. I just wanna be there to assist you guys the best I can. He loved service. Um, and it's a popular term that I think of back, back home, service before self. It's, the, it's not the same without knowing, I'm sorry. Protect and is not the same without knowing that Bear will not roll out to the pool at some point or ask you to roll him somewhere. So every year this year in the summer, we put his picture out and we do a little a moment of silence for him. It's definitely different not to have him calling us, quote, dear men, or saying, you guys all take so, such good care of old Bear. Bear loved helping all of us, and he loved what he did, which was speaking to people about stress and saving lives. And in the spirit of Bear, please remember the small things you do that make huge differences in others' lives. Thank you. Thank you, Rich.